nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. I'll take a few deep breaths, all right? I'll calm down. Well, you scared me though, sweetie. <laughs> you better be careful. Next time, you never know, I might swing at you. Yeah, it's happened before. Well, I love. I see you found your way into my little one-stop shop for true love. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, you look familiar. Mm. Is it okay if I just... You got a lot of hair in your face. I, can I move it out of the way so I can see you better? This is a lot of you. <laughs> do you recognize me? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of you think I'm a stranger. Let me do this, so I appreciate that. Okay, makes me forgive you for startling me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, I like your brows. Those are good brows you got there. All natural. Uh, yeah, I can see they've been plucked a little before. Not plucked, waxed. Yeah. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, they look really nice. Your makeup. You know what? It's me. It's Pebble. Do you remember me? From the Fairy Spawn Salon. Oh my goodness. It's been so long. How have you been? Can I give you a little kiss, Sizzly? Okay. Oh my God, sweetheart. So good to see you. Yeah. Oh, it's been a while. Can I offer you some some tea or some refreshments and snacks while we catch up? Okay, hold on. I got, got just the thing for this. I've been saving them all day, but you know what? I'm going to share them with you. Got some cookies right here. Um, I think they're like a special sort of Jam, raspberry or something like that. Yeah. My friend picks some fresh from a garden, makes this delicious jam, and then bakes these sort of like shortbread cookies. Slathers them all inside the cookie and then makes a little sandwich. Isn't that just ah, that delicious? Yeah, let me tell you. Sharing them. Oh my god, don't those look scrumptious? And they got little hearts, which I love because everything in this shop, it's all about love. It's all about the heart. Yeah. How did you find me? Yeah, we're not at the salon right now, no. Honestly, I've got a little enchantment on the storefront. So it kind of travels around and only people who are really looking for love or in need of it can see it and enter the shop. So, yeah, you're going to have to update me what's going on. Yeah, I'll leave that cook there. Um, tea, hold on, hold on before you spill it. Let me serve you some. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah. pomegranate tea. Now, pomegranates, I think, are also known as, like, a fruit that symbolizes love or fertility and rebirth. I think those are the things, but I could be wrong. In any case, it's a really nice, sweet, 
speaking service um, this side of the Fae realms but I can't be too sure yeah people just aren't doing this in person anymore they're all trying to do the apps but you know call me old fashioned I guess yeah <laughs> so you found my shop now it's your turn what's going on how what things
writing utensils, so let me go look for that. Hold on, sweetie. Or have I? Anyways, hold on, sweetie. Let me look for it. I was being silly. It was right in front of my face, but you know what? Those things happen. Anyways, this is my little love journal. It's where I keep
this fungi would be able to tell the future and tell you if that was going to give you some sort of tummy troubles or food poisoning or something like that, God forbid. Yeah, so, handy to have around, yes and no, and things of that nature. So, okay, those are the four items. You got the fortune-telling fungi, the enchanted amulet, the sweet nothing's ear cuff, or the enchanted brush. So, which very long-winded, oh, wait a second, which, oh, my pen's starting to break on me already, there we go, which of the items would you rather receive as a gift? Pink rose is a 
Let's go. 
love letters back and forth with some mysterious person. But you've been sending them for years now. And slowly have been falling in love with this person. You suddenly realize the handwriting looks familiar to you. It's your best friend's handwriting. But they basically in the last letter just declared love for you. And you want to declare love for them because you do feel it. What do you do? What do you do in that scenario? Yeah, it's a sticky situation for sure. Yeah, a T. 
teapot made out of a gourd. Is what it's given, like a pumpkin, you know? Like Cinderella carriage vibes. Yeah. Except it's a home. You got a little handle.
this dragon has beef with your kind. Yeah. Would you be willing, this last question, very important, just answer it, okay? Would you be willing to water my cousin's onions if it didn't rain today? Yeah, it's relevant.
Moses the gifter and turned them into a albeit sentient creature completely at random yeah I think from what I heard when I acquired this item someone had already been turned into a frog yeah um that was the last person I don't know the other two but their story at least ended a little happily so in order to break the curse that has now been laid upon you you have to have true love's kiss but it cannot be from the person that you gifted this rose to because they can no longer be a true love they broke that trust they damaged the rose and they broke your heart honestly um, so you can do better you know uh, yeah, it's a really tough predicament to be in, you know, um, all that to try and achieve this idea of an eternal love because you don't want to lose that person and ironically, you lose them anyways sometimes, so in a very painful way too. It's really quite good. It's 
love potion and moon juice. I think that's a really good combination, you know, focusing on giving yourself that love that you're looking for, that you deserve, but then also drawing in some new connections to you, supportive, loving, what you need. Yeah, well, both, both are so important. I love that for you.
sweetie. It was so nice catching up with you, seeing you again. So unexpected, but so amazing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Anybody who participates in the a matchmaking service and finishes that big old survey gets complimentary honey lollipop. Yeah, of course it is a lot. around.